what is up y'all it is me tasha c and today i'm doing a part one because it is going to be a longer video but this was reaction i didn't plan on doing you know even though his name was brought up uh, brought up a lot because um dg ddg already had well i mean it ain't the first beef feud he had he previously had had a few you know beef whatever with uh, bruce drop him off and so he made a surprise an appearance on twitch saturday night this is what october the 16th the 17th monday or uh, monday whatever and you know like i said his text messages was leaked a lot of people ever since this went down uh, between the beef and it was also a period where um kai Sinet and your rage try to mediate and try to you know like stop and um have a, a you know like you know them talk it out because was a couple of things of course it went back for i'm not gonna like give a clip with everything but i will talk about you know once bruce has said like told nobody to work with him I, that was one of the things that made him feel some type of way then bruce did the famous uh, uh let me get ready to um show y'all real quick in these couple clips that started somewhat the beef between ddg and bruce uh, bruce almighty okay why did I say Bruce Almighty? Shit, I meant to say Bruce. <laughs> drop him off. I'm thinking about that darn movie. Anyways, y'all, let, let me get into it, y'all. <laughs> Lucky hop on DDG track. No. I'm going to save you from that one, my What it is, man? What it is, man? What you mean? What you mean I'm going to save you from that? It ain't no goddamn joke, nigga. It's not a joke. He probably said it's a joke after he seen his chat. Like, oh, look at him, look. Like, that's disrespect, bro. Like, Lucky Hop on DDG track. Nah. No. I'm gonna save you from that one myself. You don't fuck with him? Double I fuck with DDG. See, even he got it. You don't fuck with him? Like, what you want, nigga? Do I gotta get in the ring with Bruce, bro? Fuck. Y'all let me know, brother. You're joking. Don't be soft. I'm not being soft. I'm just addressing the situation. I don't know him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the nigga. Like, I, I know his homies and shit, but I never talked to him before. So it's like, that's just, that's the same shit Annoying was on. It's like, nigga, you speaking down on a nigga music or like trying to prevent a feature. Like, that's weird. But he could just be, you know, he probably got a different sense. Like I got a, I got a particular sense of humor, right? And um, niggas don't get it, so niggas cut, say my sense of humor makes me look corny, or I'm trolling too much, or I'm childish and shit like that. So maybe it's a different sense of humor that I just don't know. You never know, but you know, I'm just not gonna not talk about the shit. What the fuck? Niggas be playing with, yeah, niggas be playing with me too much, like. Like niggas ain't grow up watching me. What the fuck? I didn't. Have, man, I didn't. I didn't save a lot of these niggas' childhoods, man. Whole lot of childhoods. Chat, 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 chat. Gun to the back of your head. Name five DDG songs. What the fuck? What the fuck are y'all talking? What y'all talking about, bro? You're dying. You're literally dying. You're dead! On God! You're dead! The fuck? Okay, um, also that before we go on these next clips, I'm also going to at the end of this the third clip of the last clip before you know I do my little commentary again. I'm gonna put a sneak preview, you know, save you don't wanna watch the I'm just gonna keep it real, even though it's split in parts, he's almost you know, he's talking about, a, I'm not going to say exactly two hours, but in this part alone, it's probably going to be an hour after I finish, like, you know, my commentary and you know, maybe come in between um, the, the stream video because he, the whole topic was really, the whole video he was basically, you know, you know, talking about, it's, you know, talking about why he hasn't been on Twitch 
and everything but also a lot of it was referring you might as well say where it's like personally me i didn't feel like editing out because a lot of it his video was more so having to do with you know after you know people now a lot of people say you know ddg was right and stuff and um and such so let me go ahead and stop rambling but i just also wanted to show real quick um the uh, a couple one or two clips couple clips when um i think it was like this but basically when uh Look, your rage tried and Kai Sinet tried to help. Maybe one or another be, but the last of this, you know, little break with these vids, sh it will be a preview, you know. Say if you just want to be like, okay, I'll, um, I don't want to stay for the whole video. I appreciate you already did, but let me get into it and let me stop talking. I guarantee you this. Watch how I speak this to existence. Even though me and So Illuminati got our differences. I guarantee he'd get a better deal than somebody like Bruce. Or he'd get, he got more impact than somebody. I, I beef for both of them. I see who has more impact. Bruce doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. I'm telling y'all that right now, bro. He doesn't have it. He's a matter of time before he's done. Stop telling me about that nigga. Don't want to. My jewelry way better than yours. You my Cardi is about? way what iced out than yours. About, nigga, I seen your Cardi's on stream. Them shits is plain as the fuck. My shit got 40 pointers. Nigga, level up, please. You don't about? know what the fuck you're speaking on, Daryl. I'm not no oh, little boy. nigga. You can't little nigga me. I don't give a fuck. I'm holding my nuts on you, my nigga. I'm flyer than you. I don't give a no, I, 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 I am. I am. I am. I am. Nigga, he just got in the fashion pre era 2018 with a stylist. Nigga, a gay one at that. Stop talking to me, nigga. This conversation is about. What are we talking about? What are we oh talking God. about? Like, okay, this nigga is not bro. talking about nothing. You're a child, bro. You're bro, a child, bro. These niggas are horrible for me. Ego, demons, I love my dogs, but they ego demons, dog. I'm goofy, I'm goofy, 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 Bro, you don't really? like my phone, bro. That nigga just blocked emotion, bro. Like, bro, like, what, bro? What you mean you don't like my song, bro? Oh, I'm looking goofy now, Daryl. What about now? Is that goofy? Literally sees these screenshots, bro. First thing I seen was, let me just fucking show y'all. My nigga. Now Kyle playing CS, LOL. Motherfuckers are dick writers, okay? Bro, I that's what I don't get. How can you beef? And I'm being 100% unbiased, bro. Like, how old is Bruce? I feel like after the, after the age of like 21, bro, it's like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Niggas is grown. I know we be trying to act like we young, but like after the age of 21, bro, it's like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we at that age, age now. You can't you be you can't be for the nigga over a video game because he playing a video game, bro. That's crazy. That's wild. Cause he playing a video game. He said, <laughs> "LOL, motherfuckers are, are dick riders." Now can I play CS? First of all, those tendencies right there. That's wild. Oh, burner Twitch. That's next level. I didn't even know that was a thing. They got burner twitches. Wow. No, that's next level. That mean you really had to get that off your chest to get to live stream on a burner twitch. What? Ah, uh, nah, that's wild. Burner twitch is different. Nah, he's 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 something wrong with that man. He's like that. Oh fuck. Okay, y'all, I'm just giving y'all a sneak peek. So I'm about to, and if you know you, y'all ready for, ready for it, I'm about to do, which is like I said, probably gonna be like an hour-ish or near hour-ish. When a couple, you know, me doing a little commentary in between, I think, about certain stuff as well. So thank y'all, if y'all watch the video, you like what you hear, see, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel or, or follow me where I'm at. You also look at link tree would have my things below but the reason why i'm talking because we about to get into uh you know ddg's first part of his live stream that he really did uh i mean that was rare you know i i think it was still up i haven't checked the day 
but he even had left it on his um um twitch page so uh, um, before i get into it um like i said hope you have a great way a great day great weekend hugs and loves and i'll see y'all in the uh, you know see y'all when i see y'all okay take care time it's been a minute man y'all know i retired bro I know I retired, man. I don't even do this streaming stuff no more. I barely got my setup put right. I got dust on the computer. I got dust on the mic. It's been a long time, man. It's been three months. Three months. Man. What we gonna talk about today? What we gonna talk about today? I don't know what's been going on. I but I genuinely, I don't be tapped in like y'all think I do, bro. Like, I be in my own world nowadays. I don't really be, like... Y'all gotta understand, like, Twitch is really its own separate community. Like, I don't even be knowing what be going on. But I was just scrolling on my stuff or whatever, and... I seen, like, some, some little drama or whatever, so... For some reason, my name is in it. And, um... I'ma just talk about it. Did y'all watch that, uh... Kai got a little pee-pee. It was weird, bro. I got how weird y'all niggas was. But, um... Did y'all watch the fight? Let's talk before we get into the drama stuff. But did y'all watch the fight, man? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like... I feel like, um... I feel like KSI won. I don't know if that's a hot take or not, but watching it as me being an undefeated boxer champion and shit, and being a uh, silver gloves champion, junior Olympics champion, me watching the fight, I feel like KSI won. He definitely got robbed, 100%. Plus, Tommy lost a point. There's no way he made all his points back and won. He lost his point in the third round. Like, that's messed up. But it's low-key cool because Hello? Yeah, you can let him in. Um, nah, KSI for show one. They gave that to Tommy because I feel like he a boxer and KSI a YouTuber, but KSI won that, bro. Sorry, y'all, I'm just up here for, for uh, a minute or two. I just wanted to talk about real quick in it. You know, uh, give a little commentary. Some people are like, what, the, what are they talking about the fight? Well, it was some fight that KSI, like I said, is actually a popular YouTuber. He's been for several years. And, then, you know, for the last couple of years, they've been doing, like, you know, these sponsored matches with some YouTubers um, and some people in sports. You know, kind of like a, a crossover event. So, that's what he was talking about. I heard even though it was supposed to be a fight. I think KSI would get some time for you, which I think is in boxing or the work professional. But they were saying, I don't watch those paper But, um, basically it was rigged. Okay, let's get back to the video. At the least. But, it's crazy. But we're going to go ahead and get into it, man. Because I ain't going to be on Twitch that long. This is not like me coming back to Twitch or nothing like that. Like, I honestly feel like Twitch is where I went wrong. Twitch is where, you know... I came on here and streamed and I, and you know, when you streaming, bro, you really got to be, that's why I commend all streamers because you really got to be really tapped in and, and low key, super funny to entertain people for seven hours straight, bro. Like, think about it. Think about it, bro. You got to have a game with the girls or something to be out here entertaining niggas for literally seven hours at a time, bro. But me coming on here, it got toxic, bro. It got way too toxic for me. And I'd have gotten way too many beefs that I ain't even really need to get into. I'm new to the game. I'm a I'm a Z-list streamer, y'all. Yeah? Like, I got 300,000 followers. Look at my look at my sub count. I ain't never got over 5K subs, bro. Like, this ain't my game. This ain't my mojo. But I came in it and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it out because... I actually enjoy watching them and I'm like you know what this is a new wave that I, I feel like I need to tap into so let me do it and then I did it for like three four months and I enjoyed it but then it got to a point where I feel like 
niggas was trying me and I was I was putting myself on the same playing field as people that I don't compare myself to at all. So um I'm not gonna come on here and be and, and be negative. That's not what I'm that's not what I'm gonna do, bro. I'm not gonna come on here and be negative. Oh, we do got donos. I miss these though. I just I just uh put my alert box back on so y'all can say what y'all wanna say. Send me a dollar and you can say whatever. But um no, nah, I I just I don't wanna come on here and be negative because I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't think of, I don't think about the nigga. Like I haven't thought about him. I, I I'm the type of dude where I get over stuff in within 24 40. Now he's about to start talking him, meaning he's talking about Bruce Dropper. Eight hours. I get over it. I don't even think about it no more, right? Y'all dragged it on. Y'all was dragging it on. The dude. Why KKSWB donated one dollar? I miss this DDG. Miss you too, bro. But y'all was dragging it on with the um the gun to the back of your head shit. The doo doo gar the doo doo garbage joke should have been dead. That was not even funny to begin with. But I. Yo, I promise you, I'm not gonna pop up every two seconds and stuff. But I did want to tell y'all that dude that that garbage joke he's talking about is when he had beef with Soul Rumi, who you know used to be you know I haven't watched watched him that much or whatever, but I do know who he is. He used to be I think on like the, but I don't want to say the wrong basketball game, but he was just referring to like some of the jokes and when him and Soul Rumi got into a beef. Um, that's what he's talking about. Okay, I'm not going to keep pausing and stopping every five uh, seconds, but I just want to make sure y'all heard that. I get it. Y'all just want to try to cyber bully a rich nigga. I don't see, see, that's what happens. I come, see, let me come, <laughs> let me take a, let me take a step back. See, I come on here and I get to talking shit and it's, it's not like on purpose. It's just me, bro. Like I have like a, I don't know what it is, bro, but I don't like when people try me. You feel me? So I come on here and I say the wrong thing and then y'all spin it and y'all put it on TikTok and then it look bad. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, this is the most, I'm literally at one point in time, bro, I feel like everybody in the world hated me. Literally. Not saying it made me Cisco like. Cisco donated $1. Happy birthday. Buy some Coke on me. Appreciate it, bro. Y'all ain't telling me happy birthday. Y'all just coming here and want to hear the drama, man. What about happy Don birthday? Don FR donated $1. That last snippet you posted was nice, Lil Daryl. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, what about happy birthday, man? Like, damn. But let me get into it. Listen, where did I leave off at? Yeah, y'all kept dragging it, right? Let me turn off. Let me turn up the TTS real quick so I get my bars off, and then I put it back on for y'all for a little bit. But look, appreciate all that birthday wishes. Listen, now nah, I'm yapping. I ain't even trying to yap. I'm trying to get straight to it, but I'm, I'm starting to yap a little bit. Let me let me get straight to it. Put me back on track. So, is it a video that I can react to to kind of like guide my response? Because I kind of want to, I kind of want to address the situation unbiased, third person view. You feel me? Like like y'all would address it. You feel me? I don't even want to make it too personal. I really don't care. I don't care, bro. Like I can walk past them right now, bro wouldn't care probably wouldn't notice them like real shit like i don't like i forget stuff that quick bro i forget it real quick i don't even be caring about the shit for real rage video okay cool let me see i ain't even got a discord no more y'all like i'm out the loop man for real i just do my little youtube snapchat music and I just do my thing bro. okay Kai video okay let's get this much Kai video let me see let me see let me see let me see, let me see. the buyer will meet us at this where is it at where is the talk city yet can't find it I can't find it y'all drop a link for me I can't find it uh, 
I ain't even got no Discord, bro. Can't nobody even help me on oh, Twitter, 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 Twitter. You right? Twitter real quick, real fast. But how y'all been, bro? Do y'all genuinely miss me, or do you like? I've been seeing people like act like they like me again, and it's cool, you know. Don't like me just because y'all want to cancel another nigga. Like, I don't want to be that. I don't want to be like the girl that you. Want. You know what I'm saying? No homo, but I don't want to be like the girl that you only you only messing with because your your girlfriend, you know what I'm saying, been acting up. You feel me? Like I want you to fuck with me for me. You feel me? So don't come on here like, oh DDG, hey, I never hated you. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. If you gonna like me, bro, like me for me, nigga. No homo, y'all get what I'm saying, bro. Don't come on here trying to just because that nigga on some bullshit. Call Twitter no more. Motherfucker call it X. Six now I'm about to turn 30. It's hard for me to try to navigate through this shit. Hold on, let me see. Kai Vod. Damn, which one is it? The six hour one. Oh my god, bro. I don't know how to do this. Can somebody help me? Please. Which stream was it? Was it insane stream? Click here now. Early stream. Or do I go to the go to videos? Watch Max. Playboy Max. Click here now. Okay, click here now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, start watching. Another quick note, y'all. Sorry, like I said, keep the rib interrupting. But he only reacted to both your rage and Kai's and that, which I felt like is important. Like I said, DG had to, deal you know, deals with Soulja Mike before this. And your rage and Kai's and that was trying, you know, you know, get it to talk it out and stuff like that. But also, the reason why, you know, I, like I said, the whole stream, even though the part one is really going to be his response to Kai Sinet's video and his input in between. And um, he, like I said, even if he did play Boy Max, or say like, if even though Phantom from AMP, Phantom as well, had, you know, also did respond, since it's like, it's, you know, it's like, just like Drew, uh, uh, Drew Dennis. So, we're going to go ahead and just finally go into, he's about to go into talk um, the Kai Sinet. Let's stop. Built up that you just wouldn't do it. My nigga, you shitting on the shit with okay. birthday again. I don't give a fuck if it's the next day. My brother Aiden, nigga who keep talking about some, bro, if I got a problem with anybody, I'll call them. I'll ring their phone up. Especially coming from that type of nigga, bro. Then there was, there's more screenshots of, um, the nigga said, like basically shitting on what I had going. Go back. This too loud. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, but all right, how does it look? You look good. Okay, cool. I got it. And I'm getting old, man. This internet shit weird to me now. Let me see. Okay, cool. All right, here you go. I know, I know, I know, I know why y'all niggas is here. First of all, okay. Um, let me, let me, let me, let me go ahead and say some shit real quick. Okay, my nigga. First things first, if you not in the mix, you feel what I'm saying? If you just not in the mix and you don't know what's going on, some weird shit going on, gang. <laughs> some very weird shit is going on. And I don't, and I, and I'm not, and here's the thing though. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. I'm not going to. Gonna try to give niggas the benefit of the doubt. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna try to hear niggas out on nothing. Nothing. Okay? I'm not, not gonna at all. not a goddamn thing because nothing. like this shit. It's weird, my nigga. It's it's weird and I don't like it. It's it's bro, like 
I don't like it. It's weird. So if y'all don't know, okay, my nigga on Twitter, some leaked DMs came out with Mr. D.O. himself talking shit about a lot of niggas behind the scenes, my nigga. Talking shit about a lot, a lot of niggas behind the scenes, bro. And I don't like it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not going to talk on anybody else and what they got going on because I don't know what the fuck they got going on behind the scenes. I can only talk on me and AMP and what I got going on. Okay, my nigga, let me go ahead and bring some shit up because, bro, this is this will be the and this is the last time y'all will hear me even speak on this on this topic. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, let me go ahead and show y'all. So he been talking to his people. So he got a little arm. So he got like he like a sergeant to his to the DEO niggas. That's what I'm thinking. Huh? So he like talk to them like regular people, like vent to them, and then they expose them. Am I right? Is that what happened? So it was so when I was like beefing with him or whatever, was it like so he was like sending them at me type shit. He was the behind all of it. It's crazy, bro. That ain't even fair, bro. I got three hundred thousand followers on Twitch. Y'all niggas sign real quick. Where where's the shit that gotta pertain to me, bro? Hold on, hold on. Where's the shit that gotta pertain to me? I got it in my phone, but I got it in my phone, but can somebody Send me that motherfucker. Matter of fact, let me read it off my phone real quick. But I really wanna I really wanna be able to show y'all what's going on though. I want I wanna be able to show y'all shit. Okay? So chat, um, hold on, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Hold on, hold on, let me look at this motherfucker real quick. I gotta block some shit out because some slurs were said, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's rage. This is about AMP, but I wanna I wanna do it about me type of shit. Oh my god, it's a lot of. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My fault, chat. My fault, chat. I should've came prepared on some shit. I got it in my phone, but hold on, let me see if I can get, I'm just talking about it on my phone. All right, chat, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I left, first of all, happy birthday again. I don't give a fuck if it's the next day. My brother Aiden, Aiden, I fucking love you. We came all the way out for that. That's the reason I, I didn't stream chat. I had to like hide it and shit like that so nobody can know. But, but shout out to my boy Aiden. That shit was a very fire time that we had. Had a lot of fun. The shit was amazing. Okay, chat. Everybody go say W A R. My fucking brother right there. Love him to death. Okay. Um, my nigga. So I literally see these screenshots, bro. First thing I seen was let me see if I can show y'all. My nigga. Now Kyle playing CS. LOL. Motherfuckers are dick riders. Okay. Bro, I, that's what I don't get. How can you beef? And I'm being 100% unbiased, bro. Like, how old is Bruce? I feel like after the, after the age of like 21, bro, it's like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is grown. I know we be trying to act like we young, but like after the age of 21, bro, it's like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we at that age age now. You can't you be you can't beef with a nigga over a video game because he playing a video game, bro. That's crazy. That's wild. Cause he playing a video game. He said, "Lol, <laughs> motherfuckers are, are dick riders." Now can I play CS? First of all, nigga, I'm not even good at that fucking game. That shit's fucking trash. I went on there literally to get one open cases like my chat wanted me to do. Okay, all right. Second of all, fuck all of that. Why the fuck is niggas going in a group chat and saying little shit like that about me though? I'm not even worried about the nigga. Why the fuck are you even saying that? Like that shit is on some like girl type petty type shit. Like I don't know when the fuck niggas start doing that, but that shit not even cool. Especially coming from a nigga who keep talking about some bro. If I got a problem with anybody, I'll call them. I'll ring their phone up. Especially coming from that type of nigga, bro. Then there was there's more screenshots of um the nigga like basically shitting on what I had going on with um the 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 fucking acting shit. Nigga gonna say now niggas wanna go into acting like they ain't been acting this whole time. I don't care, Kai. Wait, Bruce been in a movie before? He been in a movie before? Or was it just like that little kick thing? No, y'all. 
I only I heard about you know it's like a 30 minute something documentary which you can find on YouTube that talks about you know the start or whatever and where it's now Bruce Almighty I've seen it you know but I haven't paid attention to it and it could be for when he's talking about acting dudes it could be like this whole trip thing with Japan and how he met you know Ray who's like one of his big one of his supporters and he also had in the sh short film that Kai Ray did it was like 20 minutes and I think it was inspired by you know the Ru Rush Hour franchise so I don't know maybe that's what he's talking about okay let's get back to the movie he ain't talking about being fake Kai did this is, this is don't seem like I don't know it to me it, the whole thing just seems like unnecessary kind of like out of my age group in a way like i i just don't see how y'all nigga can get mad at you like playing a video game and when i think of like kai and i think of bruce i don't think of like competition i don't think they in the same type of lane in a way i feel like bruce is more like a like a cult following i don't really know bro i don't come from the streaming world for real and i feel like kai is more like mainstream i feel like it's more i feel like they different type of i don't know bro it just don't i don't know are you on god i'm not watching that shit then he went into yadi and shit like that that's not even me to that second half is not even me to speak on but in all reality bro like my nigga what type of female activity is that bro like, and the, the shit that's the shit that why I'm really mad, chat, is because I spoke to this nigga today. I literally texted this nigga today, my nigga. I texted him today, and this nigga is two different personalities when it comes to sparking up a stream and it comes to real life. Y'all already know that weird shit that he tried to do before with the whole little Kai is fake, uh, I just in the third, which was not true at all. And I played it very mature, my nigga. I didn't address it. I didn't, I didn't try to feed into it. I let him be. I let him rock. I played that very mature, bro. I played that very mature. I hit him up. I let him know, like, what's up? Like, yo, bro, ah, ah, you said this, ah, ah, cool. I let the nigga, I, I played it very mature, right? The shit that's killing me, though, chat, this nigga going, this nigga is saying all this shit after the nigga done text me a whole essay. Paragraph yeah, essay crazy. of apologizing. That's crazy. Nah, no, that ain't even no essay, nigga. That's a book. That's crazy. That's killing me, though, chat. This nigga going, this nigga is saying all this shit after the nigga done text me a whole Damn, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't texting no nigga that much. I wouldn't, I don't even think I'd text my girl no, no, even if we arguing, I wouldn't even text my girl nothing crazy like that. That's wild. That's not an essay, bro. <laughs> That's a five page book, nigga. What? I ain't texting nobody that much. That's crazy. And them look like big words too. They don't look like no small words. No abbreviations or nothing. Not W-Y-D. It seemed like he typing what you doing. Like that's crazy. Oh essay. Paragraph essay of apologizing for what he did already. Damn. You feel me? Nigga, I have a whole essay of him apologizing. And his pride is so big that he wouldn't go on stream and say, oh yeah, I apologize to Kai. If you if you watch. Bruce, he'll say, y'all don't gotta know if y'all apologize or not. The nigga like, I ain't coming on here to be negative. But I, I know an internet gangster when I see one. Bruce is an internet warrior. When I tell y'all, bro, I have never ever in my life seen this man outside, bro. This man does not leave the house, but he will get, just like he's showing you, he texts he text him a whole paragraph and then he get online and he act all tough. Bro, I have never, ever seen this nigga outside, bro. I guarantee you, whenever he get on stream, bro, whenever he get back on stream and he address the situation, he gonna act so tough, bro. So, 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 so tough. It's wild. Like, internet really ruins people, bro. The internet, when people get a little bit of money and they never used to having money or if they get on the internet, they act like different people from how they act in real life. Mine's is flip. Like I get on here and I entertain, but when I'm off, I'm like more like reserved. Like I'm chilling. You feel me? Like I feel like a nigga like Bruce is more like on some like he like a little boy. You know what I'm saying? And then when he get on here, he try to be Mr. Macho Man because of his. You know what I'm saying? He feel like he got a whole army behind him and shit. Like I don't know, bro. 
That's y'all favorite streamer. Though. I don't want no. Hey, DEO, bro. I don't want no more smoke with y'all. Y'all, y'all got it. I don't want no smoke, bro. I come in peace. I'm just coming in here reacting to it because y'all bringing me up. I don't want no smoke. Nigga sent me an essay, my nigga. Apologizing. Then after I gave him the benefit of the doubt and I said, yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I really didn't expect that from you and I really appreciate you. And whatever you need, I'm here. I I'll be cool. It was never no beef and shit. He says that, then still goes into a DM and say that, bro. How the fuck? How the fuck you? How the fuck you do that? Like, how, my nigga? How the fuck you do that? I don't understand it. Then I spoke to him today, my nigga. I spoke to the nigga today. He hit me up and said, Yo, bro, if you feel if you if you free to talk, if you free to talk, let me know. I know you've seen things that were said and I've never hit you. I said, not, I said, not gonna lie, bro. That's the craziest shit. I don't know what type of animosity you got towards niggas, but that shit ain't cool. And he said, I understand, ah, da, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Trying to mix up some shit telling me that this happened at the time him and DDG was doing his little beef, my nigga. Those screenshots are literally after you. I'm telling y'all, bro, I don't even think about dog. But it's something about internet beefing with me, bro. It's a different type of internet beef. I'm letting y'all know right now, bro. It's a different type of internet beef with me because I'm not, I'm, you, nobody, nobody can little boy me, bro. Like, a nigga can't little boy me. That's what y'all don't understand. Like, I don't care how many memes y'all make of me. I don't care if y'all say my music is trash. Bro, when I lock my phone, none of that matters. Life is good. I'm at peace with that. I understand that. I can separate internet from real life. You feel me? So it don't matter what's going on, bro. The, the two don't intertwine so when i beef with a nigga and i dig deep in his soul and his heart that's sit with them after they in that stream some niggas can't handle it right now i'm four and oh i'm not even <laughs> i'm four and oh bro yeah i can't tell me i ain't bro i don't lose you said sorry my nigga bro whether the dms are old or not the time when you said that i was cool with you and you still say it, my nigga. See his goal was after. You joined my game, my nigga. Word of my, bro, word to everything I love. Word of my mother, that nigga joined my shit. Fuck is you talking about? How you gonna say that and then join my shit and then say that, my nigga? That shit make no fucking sense. That shit is literally, that's, that's girl shit. I would never, my nigga, go behind your shit and, and, and say this about him. How are you paying attention to me so much that you get mad that I'm on CS GO? You feel like as if a nigga's after you and, and my thing is, I don't, what the fuck has I, have I done to you, my nigga? What have I done to you? Words to my mother, I want you to tell me. What have I done to you for you to talk to me in that type of way? And to gossip to your mods, bro. You should be going to therapy, my nigga. That is crazy, like, people on Twitter and the mods, y'all be real. Y'all be real people, but then it's like y'all not really real people for real. Like y'all real people, but y'all not real people. You feel me? Like I don't know how to explain it, but I, I probably I get it. You know, he probably be in the crib with his girl all day and shit, and he don't really get out like that. So when he want to vent, cause I got a little group chat too, but I know what to say and what not to say. You know what I mean? Like I know when it's like a little too much. So I ain't really seen the screenshots. I gotta see the screenshots of what he really said. If that's how you feeling, I really, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I really think that nigga really going through some shit, bro. I swear to God, you need to go to therapy. If that's how you feeling, bro, you need to go in that track hawk, hit a hundred on the gas, straight to therapy. Tell the nigga or bitch what the fuck you're going to, bro. That's what you need to do, gang. You need to do that, bro. Because what? I don't respect that at all, bro. You telling me shit is old, nigga. The shit is well damn near after. The apology, bro. That shit not cool. I'ma treat this shit as if it's a anybody would do this to me. And I don't want to be your friend no more. I don't want to do shit with you no more. I don't want to be associated with you no more. I don't want I don't give a fuck what you got going on. Because it is too dangerous to have a nigga like that in my circle. One now that's like that's like he envious. That's how that's a person that wants what you got. Somebody that talks. That's a crazy pause. But a, 
A dude that wants what you got Gonna talk shit behind your back Because he's jealous of you I'm not being biased I'm being real Bruce is wrong Y'all want me to sit on here and say Bruce was right for talking behind his back Bro, I didn't know who Bruce was before Kai, bro A lot of people don't Y'all gotta understand like A innocent bystander that comes not from the streaming world Bro, when you think of streaming This is no glazing, bro Like, I'm being real I know Kai in real life, bro Like, I don't think of the nigga as this I'm saying like When you think of streaming, bro you think a nigga's like Kai, like you used to think Aiden. I feel like Aiden got his own little coat going on since he moved to kick. But you think of like PG-13, oh, this nigga, you know what I'm saying? You think of Kai, you think of maybe your Rage, you think of like XQC, you know what I mean? Like that's they type of group, bro. You don't really think of, oh, Bruce or Speed. Like you think of Kai, Speed, XQC and... Your rage and and uh, Valor. What's the girl that played Valorant? What's the girl name? See, I don't even know her name, but I know of her because she's mainstream. It's like a complete Pokemon. Like you, it's you know what I'm saying. When you think of rap, you think of Drake, Kendrick. When you think of who the top of rap, you think Drake, Kendrick, J Cole, and DDG. Like them, like the top four niggas that you think of when you think of like rap. You feel me? Like you, <laughs> you don't really think of like. Nobody, you don't think of like Bruce, you feel me? So it's like, he like, if, if you could compare Bruce to the rap game, he like, uh, who would y'all compare him to? Cause he not mainstream to me. Let's get over that topic. But it's just like, I didn't know who he was at, before Kai. So for him to and the, the, the little boys nice shit like cock they could have him and your race could have did that with anybody it would have been lit so it's like i don't know i feel like he should have just some niggas gotta play their role bro everybody can't be the biggest everybody can't be number one you know what i'm saying number one is there for a reason you at the top when you at the top any it, it ain't two seats it's only one seat at the top so if you if you number three, bro, you still grabbing bands. You still, you know what I'm saying? You still like that, bro. You number three, you number four, you still like that. But then if you try to beef with number one and number one then low-key helped you, think about it. Let me put it in better perspective for y'all. I'm great with analogies. Think about it. Drake. Drake do a feature for another artist, right? Drake's number one. He do a feature for another artist or let's just say like a uh, little baby, little Dirk, whatever, right? He do a feature with them, boom. They bump up to number two, number three. If they start beefing with Drake, the people that, that, that started fucking with them that didn't know of them because of Drake, they will lose that fans. You feel me? You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know. And then on top of that, they supposed to be actually friends. That's what really makes it bad. From a business standpoint, it was stupid. From a friendship standpoint, it was stupid. So it's no right reason. Y'all say, oh, I'm, I'm being one side. I'm not being one side. I don't care about no old Bruce beef. I don't care about no internet gun to the back of your head, bro. That brought me so many streams. Like, I don't even care, bro. Y'all control me all day long. When I close my phone and I cut off the stream and the internet, listen. You're saying I'm yapping. <laughs> Nigga, just let me yap. This is my first stream back. Listen, when I close my phone and I end the stream and everything, bro, life good. You feel me? So it's like, I, 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 it doesn't bother me anymore. You know? It's a face cam little. All right, y'all here trying to roast and shit. It's not good. One day smiling, next time you in your phone, gossip into your top mods about what you're doing. And I, and I, Hey, hey, I condemn the nigga who leaked that shit. I condemn him. You wanna know why? Now, who is wrong is whoever leaked it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Whoever leaked it, bro, you ain't right. That's where it started at. Whoever. Okay, y'all. Well, let me say another, you know, check in here real quick, you know. Just let y'all know, you know, DDD has some very valid points, but he also gonna give a dash because you know he has a big ego as well. So we, we gonna hear a lot of that. 
Now, the person, if y'all watched the previous one, the reason why it was leaked by this person, Juice, is supposedly, you know, not getting paid. She says, there's screenshots of this, you know, allegedly he was showing, allegedly that of uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce, I don't know why I keep saying Bruce somebody. Bruce dropped him off, was supposed to pay him, but never did for setting up these events and stuff. You know, um, and the last part, which I do need to put in, uh, because I, I don't know if Kai Sinet already talked about her or not, is that also attacking him and his friends, with, you know, fans, supporters, by calling them, you know, uh, some, uh, some monkeys and the episode, some, like, well, let me put the text in while I'm up here just saying stuff, like, I don't got the screenshot. And y'all, here's the text. Kai and his community bunch of monkeys. <laughs> Bruce went wrong for saying it, but the mod was wrong for leaking it. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Think about it. Think you the main, think you the main mod, bro. You don't, you supposed to be my main homie on the internet and you leak it. Or what did he do to the mod? Did he disrespect the mod or something? Think about it. He unmodded them. Can't be mean in the middle of that nigga. Especially they got dirt on you, bud. Come on, man. Ah, because that's God, nigga. You think that shit just gonna be in the dark and, and, and not come to light? Come on, bro. You feel me? I can't talk. I can't talk about nobody else but myself. And I don't appreciate <laughs> the shit that you did. <laughs> I seen shit that you told me shit about my community. I ain't never told shit about your community. Not once, my nigga. That shit is female tendencies. Coming from a nigga who always says, I would never do that. I'm going to call the nigga before anything. Bro, like that shit is whack. And that, and that's a, and it goes, it could be used in a real life situation. Chat, if y'all got any nigga like that in y'all circle, you need to cut them off. That's facts, bro. And the people that I feel most sorry for is DEO. My nigga, you are embarrassing them. Them niggas ride or die for you. I ain't gonna lie. Hey. As a community, as a community, past tense, as a old community, because I don't know if y'all still rock with the nigga, but the DEO community, y'all was going in for him. I give y'all that, bro. I box y'all up in real life, but on the internet, y'all got it. I ain't gonna lie. They y'all was riding for him. It is embarrassing. It is embarrassing, bro. It's embarrassing, I ain't gonna lie, because they was going in for that nigga. They back you up on any situation you got going on. Right or wrong, you are embarrassing them niggas. Bro, straight embarrassing them niggas. Them niggas are literally on TikTok, Twitter, every single thing. For free, I would have paid you. I would have paid y'all, man. Come on, man, y'all know I'm Mr. Employer. Come to the right side. The hell? Y'all doing all this for the free ski and he over there talking crazy, unmodding y'all and everything. Bro, y'all silly. Look at you. Look at you. Riding for this man and he don't even care about you. Unmod you for free. Bro, I would have made you a, a top mod and I would have paid your mama bills, nigga. Hell wrong. As a matter of fact, just because of that, hey, a mod, drop your cash app. Only mods, drop your cash app, bro. I got y'all. Only mods, though. Only mods, man. See, I'm gonna show y'all how I'm, I treat my peoples, bro. Think about it. Where the mods at, man? Where my mod at? You not that rich? Come on, man. I got real bankroll. Stop playing with me. I don't know what y'all think this is. And I just want Cullen to know. Only Mar, only Omari, drop your cash app, bro. Lunch on me, man. Drop your cash app right now, bro. Lunch on me. Cardi, I got you, bro. Dollar sign, Cardi, I got you right now, bro. Lunch on me, man. How much you want? I'm gonna give you a 50 ball. Just, just because, just a little 50 ball, man. Nothing crazy, just a little 50 ball. 
You know what I'm saying? Man, I pay my folks, man. I get them right. Yeah. 50 piece nugget. That's gonna feed him and his entire family for the night. Thing. Them niggas are literally defending you. No matter what. And you go do some dumb shit like that. You know what that's called, bro? Being a crash out. My nigga. And y'all know I never get out of my character to, to do this and that. But I feel like a nigga. I feel like I'm being tested. Like, bro, like, god damn. Like, why are you doing that to me, though? That's what I'm trying to understand. Why me? I done seen, that's only a few of the, the shits I done seen, bro. I done seen a lot. This is like, I ain't gonna lie, Kai, you a good dude, bro. I, Kai watching this, ain't he? I would tell him this too, on the phone. Kai is a very, you a very good dude, bro. And I, I know somewhere in your heart, you want to forgive the nigga. Just if oh body way y'all besides him you know starting to cash up some his mods which that's up to debate you know if you say if you pay your mods or not but I wanted to point out also that this part that you know DDG is saying like he feels like probably um Kai and that you know still might want to you know even though it might be footsteps maybe possibly forgive um uh, Mr. Bruce, uh, that will come up later on. Uh, really, when you do um, forgive him, bro, does his reaction to keep DDG, him at a distance? It's not gonna be like as long as this stuff is. I know um, somewhere you know, in your heart, you like, man, this this, you know what I'm saying? We was cool, we probably apologize, you know what I'm saying? Future. This and that. Now, if he come on stream talking crazy, then it's like, all right. But if you're gonna get a nigga second chance, bro, you can't let the nigga close in like that, bro. Like, Nigga, like that that's just weird bro like that when people show you stuff like that they're gonna be like that for life forever forever and i'm gonna tell you this oh he said no yeah that's good bro Do you don't need them bro you no no glazing shit bro you top nigga dude. you top dog you literally need nobody bro you don't need to be friends with nobody for you to be cool with this nigga and be streaming with him and playing a game with him and putting him on and this and that and he's still talking crazy you gave him the power to talk crazy now look that's just me being real you done gave him the platform that he ain't had before he took advantage of it. Bit the hand that fed him. That's the that's the, that's the truth. I know you you probably too humble to think that, but I know when you think in the back of your head, nigga, you know what it is, bro. You ain't have to put that nigga in that spotlight at all. Don't do that shit with me. That shit is female tendencies. And if you think anybody that thinks yo not kind of is cool, no, I'm not. I'm not. I, no, no, I got no. I wish him the best. Do your thing, gang. Rock on. Keep going, but not with me. I can't. Not with me. I'm not doing that. I don't stand for it. I don't stand for it. I'm not with that, bro. So do what you gotta do, just not around me. I just can't trust you. Can't. You sending me an essay apologizing, then doing that? I can't trust you, gang. Can't, bro. Then I knew. I knew Bruce was two faced. When he was talking crazy on the internet and he ain't pull up to the pool party. Like it's been so many, and I ain't even know no vi I'm not a violent nigga, y'all. Like I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm not a violent person. But like, I just know how it just be different. It's, it's a different type of energy in person, bro. Cause when, bro, when people meet me in person, they be like, wait a minute, this is like a cool nigga, like. Cause I am, bro. I be chilling. I be chilling, bro. Internet has worked to me. I be chilling in real life. But it's like when you talk crazy on the net like that, like I don't get on the internet and just be dogging folks for real. Peep every beef that I didn't got in for the thirtieth million time, they start with me every single time. The whole Bruce situation that started because him. Pillow talking to an artist like a female for no reason. Don't collab with him. What? I don't even know you. 
Like, I don't know. Every, every situation I ever got in, it started from the other person. You, then I spoke to you today, and you said it was around the time you and Didi That's how you know he already, he was hating on me before he even knew me. <laughs> Look at the pause. DDG's so happy right now. I don't care, y'all. I promise you I don't. I'm reading his chat. I don't care. This don't... Listen, I ain't gonna... Listen. If y'all gonna try to rock with me now like i posted a, a tiktok the other day and it was somebody saying oh i can listen to dd i can listen to i'm geeking in peace now it's like bro if y'all ain't gonna rock with me for me then you ain't gotta rock with me bro like i'm not asking y'all to fuck with me you feel me but i told you so you had beef you lied again csgo was after are you not forgetting what you typed Are you not forgetting what you type, bro? You feel me? And one thing, bro, Bruce, I'm talking to you, Bruce. I'm talking directly to you, my nigga. Before you hop on your stream and you start <laughs> saying the shit that you want to say and complaining and shit, take a step back, look at what you did, and for once, take accountability, my nigga. For once. For once. Ah, Our, bro, for. I guarantee he ain't gonna do that, bro. His ego is too big. He just think he's, I think Bruce in his head, he really think like he like the biggest ever. Like I think in his head. And sometimes that's good and sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's like, it's good to boost your confidence. But I think he, in his head, he think he's better than everybody else. That's gonna shoot him in the foot, just like he's shooting himself in the foot right now. People ain't gonna rock with him like that. His streams ain't gonna hit the same. After he talk about this situation, listen, bro. I tell y'all, y'all know me, bro. I speak. I'm like a fortune teller. I'm telling y'all what's gonna happen, bro. I'm letting y'all know right now. And I just seen a bunch of TikToks and all that, and y'all telling me DDG was right. He can tell the future. Listen. He gonna talk about this situation. That's gonna be his biggest stream, right? After he talk about this situation, he get on here and he get to talking about whether he apologize or what, right? His next stream ain't gonna be nothing. Nothing. Took too big of a blow. And ain't gonna be a thing on it. His value then went low. Now he gotta rebuild. Y'all know how I, I had to rebuild because I didn't beef with a bunch. Bro, I know I didn't been through it. He gonna have to rebuild a lot, and he this all he do. So it's different. You know, I got different. I got different little things I'm doing. Bro, I might be canceled on Twitch, but I might be I might be on YouTube or I might be on Snapchat number one. Like you know, I ain't here to toot my own horn, but I'm telling y'all after after he talk about this situation, bro, people ain't gonna never rock with him the same. If your own fans don't fuck with you, like I got people that. Even through all these little internet beefs that I done went through, they still been rocking with me because I never switch up on my supporters, ever. So that's why I got a solid fan base. That's why I got. That's why I'm still relevant to this day. People thought that I would fall off because I'm beefing with a streamer. No, I am going to be relevant forever. I might. They might nerf my views a little bit. Whatever. Everybody views nerfed, but. I will never fall off ever because I love my supporters and I rock with them. I talk to them. I, you know, I do little shit like get on Twitter, send somebody some money, whatever, like talk to them, get on Snapchat, answer their questions, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like just little engagement goes a long way with supporters. You got to think about it. People, I look at it like this, like you might look up to me or something like that. I might, you might want to hurt yourself or something. And then I might just answer your question one day on Snapchat or something, or I might just tweet back or like your tweet. And then you might think twice about hurting yourself. You feel me? I think of it like that. Like everybody ain't in the blessed position to be making a bunch of money and this and that. And y'all spending y'all time that y'all can be spending on family or anything to watch me or to to listen to my music or whatever 
that means a lot. That's why I would never fall off. But when you beefing with your own fan base, bro, that's when it gets spooky. When they your own supporter, I didn't see supporters switch up on me, but them wasn't my real supporters anyway. It was people that was just bandwagoning. But when you switch up on your core, that's when it gets spooky. Once, just once, unless your pride is so big and built up that you just wouldn't do it. My nigga, you shitting on the shit with AMP that happened in May. I seen the date for that, it was in May. I was cool, but we was cool. And you still saying shit like that? I feel like little shit like that don't have to be said. You're shitting on my brand now. Nigga, everybody in this crib work hard as fuck for that shit. You shitting on what we got going on. You shitting on. Now he beefing with the whole A and P. It's like that's four. How many niggas in the house? That's four, five communities you gotta beef with now. It's getting spooky for dog. I don't know how this gonna work. If not, if he come back from this, he might be him. Six, he might be him. If he come back from this, he, he might be like that. I ain't gonna lie. Cause he, if you D.O. and you watching this right now, I'm telling you, the nigga you support don't like you for real. <laughs> he don't even like you. If you still, like, damn near look, if you still supporting him, right? After this, that's like, this, that's the equivalent of you being a bad bitch, right? And he hating you. He just hitting you so good that no matter what he do, you gonna stick around. He just cracking you. And you just gonna stick around because, you know what I'm saying? Just because of that. You feel me? That's what it is though. Like if you keep supporting him, you damn near like a, a female that's getting hit that's just trying to stick around because he hitting you right. That's what it is though. Like, but hey, if that's what y'all want to be, that's cool. That's cool. If y'all, if that's what y'all want to be, that's cool. It's whatever. But I'm telling you, he don't really like you. He just gonna hit you and then leave you out. If you just want to get hit, that's cool. But I feel like you should have more respect for yourself. Our brand. You feel me? Yeah, somebody said it. Side bitch. That's what y'all. If you still support him, you damn near settling to be a side bitch. I'm gonna just be a side bitch. That's all I'm gonna be. Y'all think I'm joking, but that's what it really is, bro. Like, hey, hey, look, I would treat you like the man, personally. I treat you like the man. I would never treat you like a side, for real. Just for once, take accountability, bro. Like, we don't gotta be cool. We don't gotta be friends. I don't. I don't want that. You don't gotta communicate with me. You don't gotta say nothing to me. You feel me? And just for once, see, look at your community, and, and not even, if you're not gonna apologize to nobody, apologize to them niggas. Please, them niggas deserve it, bro. Apologize to your community, okay? Them niggas literally ride or die for you no matter what. And for you to, to do some shit like that? You know why he ain't gonna do it? Because if he do it, Technically, technically, listen, I'm breaking it down. If he, if he apologized to the community, technically, it's like Kai is big homie, which I've been telling y'all that, bro. Kai is Bruce's big homie. So if he do what Kai said, he going to seem like the little homie. He ain't going to do it, bro. He got too much pride. He going to shoot, bro. It's damn near over for dog. But if he come out, if he come out on top after this, bro, like, hey. By all means, bro. By all means, I don't hate on no man. Look, I always said from the jump, as a black creator, I wish we could all be homies. I wish we could all be friends. Why we don't beef with the other people? Like, why we got to, it always going to be black on black crime. I don't get it. Every time it's going to be black on black crime. I'm like, bro, why we can't just all be friends? Why we can't all support each other? We always got to beef all the time it don't make no sense so it's like i mean i don't know bro i don't know i don't know how it's gonna go down for mr bruce i ain't gonna lie I, i'm good off that i'm good off that you feel what i'm saying i'm good off that bro i'm, I'm good off that and i'll do this with anybody i don't give a fuck if it was bob from across the street that i was cool with since 2016 you do some weird shit like that that you're done 
you're finished. Finish. Finito, you're done. Finito, done. You're done, bro. That's what I'm saying. You're done. Finish. But yeah, that's that's really all I had to say, and I'm saying it here because we try. He try. He want to talk to me on the phone, but I don't want to, Bruce. I mm -mm. No, we don't need to talk on no phone. He. He don't want to be real on the phone, bro. He want to do the streaming. So hit him with the streaming. You had to hit him back with the streaming. You ain't wrong for that. Nah. You gave him a chance to be on the phone. Mm -mm. I don't want to talk. Hey, you said you done said enough. You done, it done showed enough. You done said enough. The last time, if you look back at that clip of him wilding on me, I let you I let I didn't, I didn't want to go there with you, bro. I let you do. I was. I played it real mature with that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, the last time that shit happened, if you look at that clip, the nigga was going crazy on me, bro. Going was. crazy with no backup, no nothing, bro. And I let him do that. I used to see them clips and be. I used to think in my head like, "Yeah, can you let him talk to you like that?" I ain't gonna lie. When I used to see them little clips, and and, and he just be talking crazy about him and i'm like maybe they got like a different type of friendship where it's like it's you know what i'm saying it's cool but before all of this i always start in my head like damn this nigga low-key he low-key talking crazy to you you feel me but you said you was just letting it slide now it's the final straw and i'm gonna tell you right now bro like you were saving them before it ain't time to save no more. Come on, man. Hey. This time, I'm not with it. You're, you know who would have never switched up, bro? I ain't gonna talk about Finished. It. You're done. Do what you gotta do, my nigga, and shit. But really think about what I said. Next time you start with your stream, bro, do not. Please, bro. You know, hey, Kai, you know who you should do boys night with? You should do a Ray. That's who you should do boys night with. That's a genuine dude right there. That's who you should do boys night with. Play the game with Ray. Come on, man. Yeah. Not no ungrateful. Look at that. DDG was right. They probably made TikToks about me. Who was that? Ryan G28 probably made TikToks. Now, actually, DGG is right about this. There have been people who've been, you know, under, like, even like I said, certain videos that are talking about this ever since this stuff leaked from last week. Um, there are people saying DDG was right. And even TikTok, or DC was foreshadowing, or you go Twitter X or whatever, you know. Um, there are people, or, you know, uh, uh, people, some people who have made TikToks and stuff foreshadowing, and they actually have said that. You know, is you know, it's not one of those things where it's better. I've seen it myself personally, uh, multiple people times. It's like you know, you know, you who you was right, G, DGG, and all this stuff. Woo, 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 you know about this. What they say now, so he might even got more. DGG might even got more new fans based on um, on this alone. So uh, drama the guy gets helped a little bit. To a certain degree talks about me tweets think pieces probably um people really be trying to play like my music is like the worst music in the world which i don't get when y'all listen to niggas that's not good at all but i ain't even gonna get into that bro like i earn my stripes y'all ain't gotta like it right now it is what it is but it's like it's so wild to me like how people switch up so quick MN living 45 like it took for Kai to say it took for him to snake Kai for y'all to like me what mind you I'm double platinum two golds like it ain't easy to do that it's not easy and then like like I feel like if I would have I'm not even gonna get the yapping about the music shit Y'all know how I feel about it But I feel like if I would have never started doing YouTube Which I am very grateful to be on here I would definitely be Way bigger in the rap game Because I would have a more mysterious mystique to me That's why y'all like these other artists Because they so mysterious Like I'm just an open book But this is how I'm able to feed my family 
this is how I'm able to live my life and you know do what I do so it's like I can't go back on it it is what it is y'all know me y'all know me it is what it is you gotta choose when you listen to my music to separate me as a personality and an artist once people realize once people understand to separate the two then you can appreciate my music do not just go in there not knowing what you about to say start off on an apology my nigga to the to the commute to your niggas bro them niggas deserve it bro you feel me and that's it i'm good off that anybody else that he said something about i i can't talk to them i can't speak on them I just that was a good reaction that was a good way to handle it you need to apologize to your uh, community, Bruce, before I get mad. For real. I don't want no apology. I don't want you to like me. But you need to apologize to DEO because they rode for you. They put their life on the line talking about me. Because they know what these hands do. DEO, y'all know what these hands do. Y'all put your life on the line for that man and he don't even respect y'all. That's crazy. And then you're going to blame it on me. That don't make no sense. You know what I could have did to you for making that TikTok, bro? You put your whole entire family on the line, bro. Your granny on the line. You put your mama on the line to disrespect me for that man. He don't even care about you. That's crazy. It's wild to me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's just... can't be on here for too long though yeah I, I told you i'm not coming back to twitch i am having a little bit of fun all right right now i would be lying if i said that i wasn't having fun i do kind of miss it a little bit this ain't my speed i'll be on here if i get on here for two weeks straight i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be for somebody else i don't even want to do it <laughs> i don't want to get back into that bag bro so, um, I watched this video though just a little bit. <laughs>